Okay, you want blue powder for those. There's another one called Double Duty. The puns are rampant. <laughs> this is like yes, an ultimate overlanding show now. <laughs> so what the Double Duty are is they actually are a Ziploc bag, a heavy duty large <laughs> Ziploc bag. You Beavis open the duty. bag. Where's the Beavis and, and Butthead your- track? I'm Tony, and welcome to the Jeep Talk Show, the premier show for Jeep enthusiasts and hardcore off-roaders. Stop laughing. Whether you're new to the Jeep world or a seasoned Jeeper, we've got you covered with the latest news, tips, and advice to help you get the most out of your Jeep. Are you ready? It's time for the Jeep Talk Show with hosts Tony, Josh, Wendy, and Chuck. Yeah, and you're not going to hear any of those guys. They don't show up for uh, the (laughs) roundtables. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Jeep Talk Show. If you've enjoyed the show, please leave leave us a rating and review on your favorite podcast platform. Oh, and we've listened to our listeners, and we're on Patreon. Uh, just go, yeah, some people were asking for it. So just so you know, uh, just go to jeeptalkshow.com slash contact and look for the link to our Patreon page. You can subscribe for as little as $5. Uh, so I just want to mention the round table he is here every Tuesday. Join us any or every week uh, at 8 p.m. Central Time. All right, so I was uh, talking to the uh, the group that we have here tonight, and uh, haven't done this in a while. Let me just go through this really quick. We got F U Bob, uh, and that that's really what he has on his his name there. Uh, we've got Jamie, uh, and uh, we've got Bill ATX. Uh, we've got iPhone. That's always a popular one. We've got uh, John B, uh, Lisa, uh, Mar- Marissa. Uh, Matt and Roger. So, uh, you know, we're getting started to like right on time. So that means we're going to have some people coming in uh, in about five minutes. <laughs> they like to get in here late. So thank you guys for, for being uh, with us tonight. So if you don't remember, if, uh, if when you're first speaking on the show tonight, say your name and uh, your general location. So our uh, listeners that weren't able to be here will know where you are and uh, who you are. Maybe they can associate uh, your voice with a name. Uh, so anyway, I was saying earlier is that uh, we were going to talk about, I asked the, the, the group here before we got started, uh, can we talk about Easter Jeep Safari? Primarily because I have some questions. Uh, if you don't know, uh, I'm going, the Jeep Talk Show, the 2021 Jeep Talk Show Gladiator and I will be heading out there to Easter Jeep Safari. And I think right now the plan is to be there on Sunday. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm uh, planning on staying all week. So uh, I got lots of questions. I've never been. Uh, I have camped before, not in a long time. Uh, and uh, that's what I'm going to be doing when I go out there. So uh, let's uh, let's bring everybody in. Hello, Zoom people. Hello. 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 Oh, and before we get too far into this, especially the Easter Jeep Safari stuff, uh, Jamie, you had an announcement that you wanted to make tonight. Did you want to do it now or toward the, towards the we end of the show? We could do it now. Okay. Absolutely, we could do it now. So I am so excited to announce this. It's been, Tony, you and I had this conversation this week. Um, This is a, this is a biggie. This is um, girls play off road has now partnered up with E3 off road and Overland association. Um, If you don't know about them, this is for all of us Jeep people. You need to know about them. It is like the greatest. I'm excited. There's so much that goes on with them. They've got online courses and education, um, exclusive member areas and tools, private Q&A calls, webinars. They now know all about Jeep Talk Show, and they're going to be announcing this throughout their publications on a weekly basis. And they've got a huge uh, off-road and overland events. You're getting industry discounts. And if you sign up as a member, which you absolutely want to do, this is my favorite part about this is that they have um, off-road assistance with your membership so and tire deals. So with your off-road assistance, you're getting flat tire repair replacement assistance, towing assistance for your tow vehicle, dead battery assistance, lockout assistance, and um, they work with all of your big rigs. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that comes with it. It means that... Um, Jeep Talk Show is going to get more press and more people are going to know about you. More people will know about Girls Play Off-Road. And um, 
our worlds are expanding a little bit and it's kind of exciting that's great news now uh is it so this is like triple a is this just jeep or is it any, any off-road uh all vehicle? off-road for your oh. for all because i was race. just thinking they could go by triple j if they just did jeeps right Wouldn't that be? <laughs> but um no it's for all your it's for all the off-road rigs and everything like that the packages are fantastic tony i will give you the link so you can i'll share that with you and if you use our code you're able to save 25 percent off of your membership but um, big companies like Power Tank, Midland, American Adventure Lab, just to name a few. The online courses are great. There's just so, and there's a digital magazine, digital video library, um, conferences that are just for members. There's just so much stuff to bring this off road community together um, throughout the country and Canada and all over the place. So, and they've got VIP trips and lots of fun stuff to, for everyone to get involved with. Now, how long has E3 been around? I believe 25 years, if I'm wow. not mistaken. Wow, my goodness. So they're around a long time. They, um, so they've got the off-road, E3 off-road. They've got E3 overlanding. They've got E3 aviation. So next weekend, um, April 28th, no, March 28th, excuse me, to April 2nd, down in Florida, they're having fun and sun. And it, they've got camping there and a whole sorts of entertainment. And all of the ambassadors will be there except for Girls Play Off-Road because I'm committed to uh, the Ladies of Infidel Women's Wheeling event. So I'm guiding and I just couldn't make it down there. But uh, tomorrow... That's, that's not a good foot to start, start off on, Jamie. <laughs> well, you know what? I keep my word. So, you know, yeah. we talked about it. And could I get someone else? And people are coming to wheel with me, so... I've got to stick with my commitment. No, but, of course you, know, you do. Going so they have, a, they have a gun thing too, don't they? I mean, they've got the off-road aviations and, got, and gun. Yep, they've got the E3 firearms. So there's a lot, and they've got more channels coming out. So it's really an exciting company to be involved with. And um, let's... Well, Watch it all happen. Well, congratulations, and uh, uh, obviously we're more than happy to uh, help uh, you promote yourself and stuff, but we really appreciate you helping uh, to pro promote the Jeep Talk Show uh, with such a, a great uh, organization. And uh, I, I don't know if it's okay to mention, I mean, uh, there's a few people that uh, past and present uh, people that have been associated with E3. Uh, can you can you mention a few of those folks? Um, They only had one ambassador to begin with. This is worth... My thing is sketching out. Um, it's all right. It's really have, cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Max Headroom yeah. effect that I was telling everyone about. Um, they originally started with Lightbright, and they are now on version 2.0, and they've changed the way their ambassador program is working. Gotcha. So there's uh, five ambassador. I think five ambassadors right now, and there there will be two more that will be coming on that they're working with. Do you know if uh, E3, anybody from E3, as far as, uh, I mean, ambassadors or uh, E3 as a company, will be at uh, Easter Jeep Safari? Um, I will find out. I'm sure that there will be. I would think so. So I will find out. I'll let you know who to look for and to set up a meeting for you, Tony. Sure. I'd love just to shake hands, if nothing else. Yeah. So once we, right now, we've got the big launch tomorrow, uh, well, since this is going out tomorrow. So today, today there you go. Um, <laughs> so of the website of the, of the version 2.0, and then they're headed straight down to Florida for this big event. And then after that, it ramps up with off-roading and overlanding and camping. Very good. Very excited so, for you and uh, girls play off-road. So uh, again, thanks for making that announcement here. And uh, I think this is an exclusive announcement, right? It is you guys. So, I knew that the press release went out today to 500 different publications. Um, I saw a copy of it on Fox in one of on Fox, one of the TV stations, their PR. And I know the New York Times, but it went out through the AP press. So it was blasted throughout the country. And tomorrow is the social media launch. And Girls Play Off-Road will actually eat, be starting a YouTube channel starting tomorrow. Very good. So you'll be able to find us on all social media, YouTube, TikTok, uh, Facebook, and Instagram. And, of course, on Tuesdays, we will be blasting all day, as you saw today, Tony, Jeep Talk Show. 
Thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. Uh, it's it, we've only been at this for a couple of years, so it's nice to get some uh, some backing from some folks. <laughs> of course, I'm being facetious. Uh, we're in our 13th year now, so it's it's wonderful to get uh, any kind of support after uh, uh, doing this for so, for so very very long, and from all of you guys here too that show up here every week and join in on the Zoom meeting. All right, so I don't want to make anybody feel bad, uh, but well, there's a couple here I don't mind. I'll make it feel bad. Travis is a good one to make feel bad because uh, he, he enjoys it. <laughs> I enjoy it. <laughs> but uh, oh, let's talk is. about let's talk about Easter Jeep Safari 2023. And obviously, I'm talking about this because uh, I'm uh, I'm going this year, and I want to find out what I should uh, expect to find, what I'm going to be doing there, and uh, uh, just you know some just general stuff. Bob, uh, I believe you were talking about uh, camping. Uh, which we're going to be doing. I, I can't remember. I think there's a total of nine or ten Jeeps that are uh, Jeep Talk Show uh, listeners, team members, or host uh, that's going to be out at Easter Jeep Safari this year. And I know that uh, we've got probably five or six of those the, uh, those Jeepers uh, going to be there like Sunday. So uh, there's, uh, there's going to be quite a few Jeep Talk Show uh, uh, support out there this year. So, Bob, you were telling me about uh, the camping. You can't just camp anywhere you want to, even though it seems like it from what I was reading on uh, online. You can camp in a lot of spots, but the way it works is it needs to be an established, dispersed camping spot. Usually, you can tell if you're in a good place if it has an established fire ring and there's been traffic, obvious signs of camping. Some will be marked on maps. And they will go out, and if people start camping somewhere they're not supposed to, they will go out and put up signage, no camping in that particular spot. But uh, there's a really big dispersed camping spot right north of town called Willow Springs. They actually have um, vault toilets and porta potties, and it's a big, popular area for camping. You'll see everything from People rolling up in their Honda Civics with their tents all the way up to uh, the super pullers, pulling their semis and their rigs out there in that area. But there's a lot of great camping. If you're willing to drive even 30 minutes out of town, you'll find a spot to camp. Do uh, do we, and I mean the, the GTS, GTS, the JTS folks, do we have an idea where we're going to camp as a group, or is that just going to be uh, what, we fi- what we figured out when we get there? We're going to camp wherever we find a spot. <laughs> so uh, yeah. if somebody, if a listener, uh, maybe the, somebody that we don't know about, or maybe they, they decide they're going to go because we're talking about this uh, on multiple episodes, um, if they wanted to follow along or get involved with a group, um, what, what do you guys think? GMRS uh, Channel 21 would be the uh, the best uh, like talk-in frequency? I think that'd be fine. We can plan on that. Also, uh, they can always jump in our Discord in the Easter Jeep Safari 2023 channel Very good. and say hello. I know I'll be checking that throughout the week. Um as a way to communicate if needed with people so so uh, speaking of discord and you guys uh, that you can get a discord invite uh, simply by going to gpockshow.com slash contact and just scroll on down through there and you'll see a uh, an invite uh, to, to discord click on that it's uh, anybody can join uh, just go right there and, and feel free to join in you don't have to chat uh, you may just enjoy reading the comments but i suspect after you read some stuff for a while you're going to want to be involved in the conversation so anyway, uh, yeah, go the, just sign up the Discord, get into Easter Jeep Safari. Now, uh, I mean, EGS uh, 2023, I think is what it's called, uh, the channel. Uh, and I, I posted up, and I don't remember getting an, a response there on Discord. Would there be any advantage to starting up a, uh, a email group so that uh, we could send emails or maybe receive emails from folks that maybe didn't want to do Discord? You know, maybe they feel more comfortable with email and uh, just all having to do with the uh, the, the JTS being at Easter Jeep Safari? Yeah, we could. They can also find any of us on the JeepTalkShow.com, can't they? 
our all of our emails for those of us who are team members. Uh, the team members, there. yes, and the under the about, I believe, uh, on uh, JeepTalkShow.com. All right. So, well, I don't know. I mean, I like the email thing because it's just something that I've used for years and years, but I don't think it is as uh, popular as it wa once was. So that's the reason why I ask. I'll set it up anyway, and if we use it, great. If not, uh, we won't. Well, me, I'm not going, but just dropping a pin location on a random map. I mean, it's got coordinates there, and, and if y'all have got a campground set up, someone wants to come by, you know, and not damage Tony's, you know, Jeep like he happened, you know, sitting at Sam's Club, but they, they you know, just dropping a location. Hey, this is where we are. Very true. Very true. And uh, we could use the email to send that out. Yeah. All right. Well, who who here has been to Easter Jeep Safari in the past? Tell us uh, about it. I have Bob from Fuck You Bob. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I've been there. This will be, I think, my fourth year at EGS. So oh, this this, this uh, will be my third time. Uh, I've been out there. This will be well. I've been out there three times already. This will be my fourth. But the very first time was without a jeep don't ask me why i did that <laughs> hey my first year out there was without a jeep either i had to ride in uh an xterra part of the way so i had a ford i had a ford explorer with with uh running boards that didn't have enough clearance to run over uh uh i don't know a, a curb on the side of the road so i don't know what the hell i was thinking yeah, this is Larry from St. Louis. So this will be my second. And the first year I was out there was without a Jeep, but I did get to ride with Bob on a ride. So out of the people that said, this is Roger from Wisconsin, out of the people that said their first year out there was without a Jeep, did did that first year out there without a Jeep have any, have any influence on you buying a Jeep? I'm just curious. <laughs> no, I had a Jeep when I went out there, but I, I had more of... Uh, more flight points than I had time, <laughs> so I just gotcha. went out there and. Yeah, we should have some sort of merit badge or something for the person that uh, drove the furthest uh, to get to EJS. Yeah, because you know most of us are going to drive fifteen to twenty some hours to get there. So, I mean, you got to commit a big chunk of time just on a, the there and back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we really do. Yeah. yeah. I guess Greg's central Wisconsin is probably got. If Greg's driving, he's probably he's got flying. Feet. He's flying. Hey, maybe me from Charlotte, North Carolina. It's two thousand miles. Yeah, that's a good run. So, uh, what are you? Uh, what are you going to be driving, or are you going to be towing? <laughs> Both. So we've got a uh, um, twenty-one uh, uh, JL Unlimited uh, Rubicon four by e towing the. The custom space uh, spaceship from last week. <laughs> Hopefully, but is it going to? But is it going to be ready? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the question. That's the question. <laughs> well, I think it's going to be ready, but will it be licensed? That's going to be the tough part. <laughs> I think the, the so I'm hoping either uh, probably tomorrow night I'll have it ready to register. So it should be good to register Thursday morning. The uh, uh, North Carolina License and Theft Bureau works about six hours a week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like it's like two or three hours, three days a week, and uh, so you gotta you gotta target it perfectly, and then go to the DMV afterwards. So that's probably the worst part of the entire bill is going to be uh, trying to figure out the license plate for it. Yeah, <laughs> so that's good looking bill so, too. Oh yeah. So and, a four, and I'll, a four and I'll by just, E does does that mean you'll you'll get to the edge of town and the battery will be dead? <laughs> pulling the can, pulling the can trailer. I, I'm just gonna be lucky if I get 200 miles of tank. <laughs> So, uh, if you guys don't know, uh, Matt uh, Gator uh, B8, I believe, uh, on uh, Discord, he's been sharing a lot of photos as he's been building this uh, this uh, trailer that he's going to be bringing, and just beautiful work, uh, or, or very well hidden uh, with uh, fuzzy uh, Oprah-like uh, lenses. I don't know which, but I think it's beautiful work. So, uh, it's uh, it's really going to be interesting seeing this thing in person uh, after watching it being built uh, on uh, on Discord. And I'll mention, uh, Greg's not here. Greg Henderson from uh, uh, Unof Unofficial Use Only. 
Uh, Greg was uh, in our Zoom meetings quite a bit while he was building the two-door uh, JTE Gladiator for uh, SEMA and uh, Quadratech uh, Tread Lightly. And uh, we got to watch that, uh, that vehicle being built uh, from, from cutting the, uh, the uh, 4xE in half uh, to all the other stuff and all the cussing along the way. So uh, you don't know what you're missing if you don't join us here in uh, the, the Zoom meeting or in our Discord server. You know, if that stuff interests you. <laughs> so, Jamie, I know you're not coming to EJS this year. Uh, is anybody not from Girls, Girls Play Off-Road going to be out there with us? Nope, not this year. Uh, next year, I'm hoping to get out there and bring some of the girls with me. Mm -hmm. Are you? Uh, have you been there before? Not yet. Have you been to Utah before? No, nope. And yeah. so I had one of the guys in my office asking me, where would you want to travel to? I'm like, I want to go to Moab. He's like, let me find flights and hotels. I'm like, no, no, no. You don't really understand if that works. Oh, no, no. You He's can't like, just go there. He's like, you'll need a rental there. car. I said, no, I won't need a rental car because my Jeep will be out there before I get out yeah, there. He's you, like, what? You don't understand. You can't just go to Moab, Utah and hang around. You got to go out there with your Jeep. And we've already heard yeah. people moaning and bitching about the being out there the first time and not having their Jeep. So, yeah. So, the Jeep will be trailered out there and I will fly out there. Well, that's just I'm cheating. <laughs> I am not doing a 20-hour drive. <laughs> that's, no shot. That's just cheating. <laughs> it's okay. I still have I still have a daytime job. So, oh, know. I know what you mean. Hey, Jimmy, are you have you been to Utah? Are you planning on going to uh, Easter Jeep Safari anytime? I mean, you're going to miss something if you're not coming this year. Not going to be able to make it this year. I like Jimmy's Jeep. Look at that. That thing is sexy. Jimmy likes it too. He just doesn't like trying to find parts for it. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 fun that way. What is that uh, for our audio listeners? Hey, it's a 1987 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. Gonna fix that thing up and sell it for a hundred and ten thousand dollars, competing with the uh, the new one. <laughs> I don't even know how I can master finds the parts so they can they can have them so new. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry you're not coming. I wish you could. Uh, Steve, lie to us. Tell us you're coming and then don't show up. <laughs> what? what do you mean? Steve. I, never... <laughs> I guess you Steve just made busy. Steve sulk away. Yeah, yeah. So when are you guys heading out? Um, I think uh, Bill and I were talking about it today. Bill's over here kind of close to me. He's within a, a couple hours of me, and I think... Uh, Saturday morning, what was it? We we're going to try to meet up around 10 a.m., uh, Bill? Bill's trying to work, and he's got his mic muted. <laughs> How long's the ride, yeah. Tony? It'll, it's, yeah. it'll be 19 hours. Oh, good Lord of mighty. Are you doing it straight, or are you stopping overnight? I can't do anything but straight, so there you go. Um, no, I, we're going to be... <laughs> We're going to be going. We're going to yes. be going to uh, Amarillo, isn't it, Bill? Uh, stop at Amarillo, and then uh, uh, Sunday yeah. morning probably head out uh, towards uh, Moab, Utah. Correct. So about ten and ten, I think, is what it's going to wind up being. And how many days are you staying out there for? We'll see. Uh, I mean, uh, I uh, I'm planning on being there until it doesn't make any take sen it doesn't make sense to stay there any longer. Now I will be in the uh, and thanks to Ken uh, Tudersky for inviting uh, the the Jeep Talk Show uh, Gladiator to be in the Tyree Light booth. Uh, that's that's something a, a lot of you don't know about. Uh, so I will be uh, sitting in there, me or Bob or Bill or uh, somebody. Uh, we'll be in there. I'm planning on sitting there for a while, but I do want to get around and, and have a chance to talk to vendors and meet people. So uh, we may be, uh, since we'll have so many Jeep Talk Show people there, we may be subbing people in. But uh, so that'll be Thursday and Friday at the Tyree Light booth. And if you guys aren't familiar with Tyree Lights, that's uh, you should go to our YouTube uh, channel or look at any of our social media and to see how freaking bright those lights are. Uh, Bill and Andrew know uh, exactly how bright they are. Have you been blinding them lately, Tony? They they have they're glad they've already had all the children they want to have. <laughs> yeah, so there'd be a little convoy coming out of Amarillo. It'd be Bill, you and myself, though. So oh that's right. You're gonna work. you're gonna meet up and meet meet us up in Amarillo, that's right. Yes, what sir? day are you guys in Amarillo? I'm sorry, I didn't well, hear it'd be the What day are you guys gonna be in Amarillo? 
that will be uh, Saturday, the, probably. The, Let's see, 10 hours. Yeah, so about um, thir- the 31st. 8, 8, 8 p.m. or something, oh. I guess. Probably. Okay, uh, I'll, be there. I'll be there on the 26th. Never mind. Oh, so you're going to EJS? No, I'm going to Arizona for a college visit. <laughs> oh, that's right. No. Yeah, no, we're meeting in at, at Amarillo on the 31st and then making a trek to a landing on the 1st. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to be a week ahead of you guys just going out that way. Yeah, so that'll be April 1st. First, we're, we're meeting in Amarillo. Yep. Harry, don't show up a day early. <laughs> yeah, the 28th would be about four days early. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Larry, so uh, Duke is coming or not? Duke is coming. Oh, good. Yeah, there's probably going to be a few events that, you know, like the restaurant events that him and I won't be able to attend for obvious reasons, but, you know, that's okay. I mean, he's, he's my travel buddy, so he he goes about everywhere I go in the Jeep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Larry, we'll have our two dogs with us, too, so we're you won't be alone. Yeah, but I, I, I figured that for the channel, he gets more, uh, you know, I, think, I think more people watch it for him than I anyway, so that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Tony, one thing kind of circling back to what you were talking about before was uh, people that, you know, go to Moab their first time without a Jeep. Uh, the first time my wife and I went, we actually flew into Montrose. We had a, uh, a wedding in Colorado, but we took a, we went a couple days early and we rented through Turo a, uh, a, a Jeep Rubicon. And, we, and the guy in the description said that we could take it off road. So we literally rented a Jeep took it over to Moab and off road for a couple of days right before a, another event. So if anybody's never been, it is hundred percent worth it. And, it. and there's so much in Moab that's stock jeepable that you could actually rent one and, and go do it. Right. Uh, and I think we've talked about this before, but in case uh, you're new to hearing this, um, we are not planning on doing anything with red rock four wheelers. In other words, those really crowded trail runs that they do. Uh, and nothing against those folks. I mean, they're, they're really the reason why there's an Easter Jeep Safari, uh, but it's my, it's my understanding. Uh, but uh, we, we're hoping to make use of uh, Greg Henderson and his knowledge, a uh, very, very wide knowledge of Moab, Utah, to uh, take us to various uh, places on different trails, maybe the same trails that Red Rock Four Wheelers are doing, but just at a, a different day. Um, so uh, we don't conflict with them, and I don't. I think it's the trail is actually closed whenever they're they're doing their runs. But uh, so this is going to be kind of a, I want to say a smaller bunch, but with the number of jeeps that we have it going out there from uh, JTS, uh, it's going to be a pretty a pretty good size run. <laughs> it, it should be. There's like there's quite a few jeeps that's going to be there. So there's a ton of good scenery out there either way. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you got some new shocks in, uh, what was it today, yesterday, uh, Larry, I think you did a, a video on, uh, Jeeping Mo, your YouTube uh, channel about them. So I, I, I filmed and installed those, uh, today, but I got tired of trying to keep up with Bill. I kept watching how <laughs> Bill's Jeep always rode so nice. So I'm like, well, got to keep up with the Joneses here. And I figured also the fact that I could just just push down on the shock and totally collapse it it was probably time oh yeah so did you get it on there without uh with cutting the strap properly and hitting the hole whenever the you cut the strap that's but always been my problem is trying to uh get that thing lined up whenever it's expanding yeah no 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 straps Nope, you just have to totally collapse the uh suspension you just totally droop the suspension out and then uh just uh, fit them up that way. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I did it the hard way. <laughs> Mine was more challenging. <laughs> you, were, you were trying to trying to nail the hole as it went by. Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to get it in there where I could stick the, stick the bolt. Yeah, through. and then on those uh, Falcons, you got to trim out a little bit of that wheel, inner wheel, inner wheel well also. So it's all good. It definitely rides a lot better. I took it on a highway and... It'll make for a little better drive. Oh, it doesn't that, float around on the highway as much. Good timing for the uh, for the trip, which is, uh, I'm sure that's the reason why you uh, got those now. Yeah, absolutely. So, Tony, I got to ask. You said that you're going. to... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I don't want to interrupt you, Larry. If you're still going. No, no, go for it. I was just going to say you said that you're going to stay until it's until it uh, until you deemed it was time to leave. 
mm-hmm. or something like that. Yep. So do you have somebody le- that you're leaving behind to start packing up all your belongings and getting ready to ship them or? No, no, not, not that at all. Because, because once, once you get there, the scenery and everything is so amazing. I mean, I can't see any time that would be a good time to leave. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing the scenery, uh, but I'm going out there really to meet a lot of the people that I've done interviews with, uh, a lot of the people I've interacted with uh, uh, on, on here, and uh, my primary primary goal is going to be out there for the show. Uh, I mean, I'm oh. certainly going to have fun, but uh, so when I say, as long as it makes sense, if there's people there willing to talk to me uh, about uh, what's going on and the Jeep Talk Show, I'm, I'm going to be there talking to them. Well, it just reminds me that I can't put that a shower, the, the less and less it becomes. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> so I asked okay. my wife, uh, what could I get that it, that I could clean up with that wouldn't require uh, a lot of water or a shower or something like that? And uh, she said, uh, shower wipes. So, shower wipes, yep. Yeah, so and, dude wipes or whatever, too. And I found that I can get tactical shower wipes. So that, I don't know what the hell that means, but I'm that's what I'm getting. <laughs> it means they're five bucks more a pack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of like the dude wipes. Dude wipes, yep. <laughs> so, so are you tent camping? Are you rooftop tent camping? Like air mattresses, sleeping bags? What's the what's the sleeping going to be like? For, for me, it's in between. I uh, purchased a, uh, a, a, a truck bed tent. So it's not a rooftop. Right. It's not a, a ground tent, uh, but uh, it just goes uh, goes right there in the bed of the Gladiator. And uh, I have an uh, air mattress and a couple of uh, camping pillows. So, uh, yeah, I just need to get the air compressor, all the, the onboard air hooked up so I can uh, not have to uh, in, inflate those uh, that or that mattress uh, manually. So i uh, got some wire to run and some wiring to do to get that uh, at least the... Uh, it's it's already installed. I just got to get the power back there. Nice. Yeah, I'll be out there with a with the off road trailer in a rooftop tent. Oh, that's nice. Um, I, I think the off the uh, rooftop tents are really cool, and I think putting on a trailer makes a lot of sense, uh, especially for center of gravity on your on your Jeep. I did it just because I got be- tired tired of going out there with a. Uh, couple thousand pounds over gross in the jeep and then when you go all wheeling you feel like you're wheeling in a springboard so now i can leave all that heavy camping gear and everything else in the trailer and then create a base camp go out and enjoy the ride with all that loose gear in the back that might hit you in the back of the head when you step on the brakes well this is hey tony yes i got uh if you look at my video that right there shower pouch is the best Hot wipes we found for camping, and we've tried the bucket of wipes, the case from Costco, uh, dude wipes, sport wipes. These things, look them up. They're large. It only takes one wipe to uh, shower at the end of the day, get the dust off you and everything. And they're so robust, they actually tell you you can do this. You can wash them in your washing machine with your laundry and reuse them. Oh, Put them like back that. in a baggie with a little bit of water and alcohol and essential oil or whatever you want. And reuse them. Very nice. I'll have to try that out. Now, uh, now Bob was saying uh, his video, what he's referring to is the Zoom meeting video. I know you guys listening can't see that. Uh, but uh, if you were here, if you were part of our Zoom meeting, you could see it because everybody can see everybody else's video. You, you know, if you really wanted to, you could also just take a Ziploc bag with a wash rag and put a little bit of a uh, 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 baby baby soap or something like that in the bag with a little bit of water. You know, get the right mix and throw it inside of a Ziploc bag and close it off and just consider that your shower. You know, uh, it's time to take a shower. That's a bad idea. Uh, is it? About, okay. about Maybe. three days in, your washcloth, when you unzip that baggie, is going to reach out and smack you from about two feet away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never done it, Bob. I was just thinking. I know of people that have made their own hands. You you but you wanted me to be the guinea pig. Thanks, Roger. <laughs> well, you know, if, as long as it reaches out and slaps somebody else, I'm all right with that. <laughs> yeah, so Duke and I are going to be tent camping. We air, little air mattress, and, and we're putting together a little diesel heater that's going to get cold in the evenings, and... 
Now, I read that it's, it may get down to into, into the 40s, which, of course, is cold, but no freezing weather, at least not predicted now. Yeah, it's a bit, it's the mystery, like I said, because last year they got a lot of uh, snow and they got pretty chilly out there. When you get out there in the big open areas, you know, it's if it's in the 40s, we're okay. But if it just starts dipping down even more than that, you know, you don't want to find out once you're there. Right now, when I looked at the forecast, uh, the week before we get there, it's supposed to get down into the low 30s. So it looks oh, like what? right now it'll be a little chillier than usual. So, Well, when it comes to the heater, it's, what's the old saying? Better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it? Right. Well, I usually pack way over pack, and I'm not going to do that this time. And with the Amazon, you just return it. Warm. So I may be bundling up with one of you guys. Well, don't, I, I, I got I got a solution for you there, Tony. But I'll tell you about it later. Well, I would well, I, well, I would say we got enough. I would say Duke, but I know, people. but I know Larry uses Duke for uh, for warming. <laughs> Just put, put Duke between you and Larry. <laughs> no, I I, I picked I, I up one of them. I like that idea. Duke is a chaperone. <laughs> so I picked up one of those heaters. All in one. Go ahead, Dave. We could. We can always pull a line off, and you know if we need to, we, it'll it'll heat more than one ten. So well, that's actually what I was freeze. gonna say. <laughs> I uh, I ordered I, I I ordered the all in one diesel heater with the with the for the tent for my wife, and I actually ordered a Y pipe because I know it's going to be way too warm for me. So if you really want, you know, I can always just uh, I, I I picked up an extra section of hose as long as you ain't too far away. We can we can drop the. Uh, Drop the other end of that Y pipe into your tent for you. Very cool. Well, I'm going to bring a little propane, uh, one of those little propane heaters, but I don't think I'm going to have any problems uh, in the uh, with with the uh, with the weather. Um, so I, I did want to mention this though. Now I think everybody is situated with a tent, or they have a, an idea if they're going to be staying someplace. But if you're listening to this and you're going, man, I'd really like to go. Uh, I've got a Gladiator, and uh, what is that uh, that tent? that Tony's talking about. So I actually saw this on one of uh, Quadratech's uh, YouTube videos. I think they did it about two years ago. It's the right line gear, midsize, short truck bed tent for a five foot bed. And right now, Amazon has them on sale for 39% off at $109.99. Now, the downside is, is this isn't the right tent for the Gladiator. <laughs> because <laughs> apparently, you're supposed to have the uh, Ridgeline Gear midsize short uh, truck be uh, tall bed tent five foot. So I wasn't going to pay another 80 bucks to get the right one. I figured I would just try this one and see because it just didn't make any sense to me why, uh, why a tall bed would be any different than the one I'm getting. And I, I'll, I'll let you know that it is. Now, I haven't used it yet. I have installed it on the Gladiator just to, to test fit it. And it is perfectly fine. Uh, it fits the Gladiator perfectly fine so i had no trouble with it and i saved 80 bucks not getting the right one nothing a couple of bungee cords can't take up the slack of uh actually they had some straps in there that uh, weren't in uh the video that uh that quadratech had and once i put those straps in on the bed and tightened them up it uh, pulled the uh, the door up nice and tight and uh, the zipper was even easy to open and close that was the problem i was having with it before and uh i, I just in the it just something they must have added, uh, but uh, yeah, and I think the if if you guys are interested in it, uh, it is let's see, I'll give you the model number here real quick, uh, something like one zero seven six six or something. Um, oh, I'm sorry, one zero uh, seven six four is the model number on this one. So if you're looking for something, I mean, it's very thin. I'm not. I'm, I don't think this is anything that's going to hold a lot of uh, temperature, uh, which is uh, kind of good in the spring and the summer, uh, which I think is uh, probably the time most people go camping. Uh, but uh, it uh, it's going to cover uh, cover the bed of the of the Jeep of the Gladiator, and it even has uh, rain protection on it uh, as well uh, as a separate item. Uh, that comes with the tent, so I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed with it. Oh, I, I got that model number wrong. It's a one one zero seven six five, and the seven six six is actually the one that is supposed to be uh, made for the Gladiator. So Tony, uh, 
I'll actually be using one of the right line gear tents also. Um, I'll have their SUV tent that I picked up a few years ago. And I've camped out of it multiple times. Their quality is good. It seems like it. It's held up very well. Yeah. It it seems really good. I'm just, you know, I'm not used to things being that thin and holding together, I guess is the way I'm, the way I'm thinking, (laughs) because it it is very, very thin, but it makes it real easy to wad up into a nice uh, cylinder shape and stuff in that bag. All right. So now here's a touchy subject when you're camping. And now, Bob, you're the one that actually mentioned this uh, to the group uh, that uh, you have, you can't just go, uh, poop and pee anywhere you like uh, out there. You, you have to collect it. Uh, think of walking the dog, I think. Uh, but uh, uh, so, so, yeah, go ahead. You are not allowed to dig cat holes in a lot of areas out there, um, which if you get a chance, ask Chuck about this, and he's going to give you a nice, colorful <laughs> tirade of words before he speaks. <laughs> because of the white flower so what happens is people either don't bury it well enough something digs it up or they're doing it in the wrong spot but camping areas have actually been shut down because of so many cat holes being dug and the toilet paper not being packed back out because you're not supposed to bury your toilet paper with your poop so now one of the rules they have in a lot of areas is you have to have some sort of portable toilet or way of bringing your poop out. And if you don't, and a ranger comes by, one of the things they'll do is they'll ask, where's your toilet? And if you say, I dug a hole over there, they'll write you a citation for it. So you're saying that the correct answer is I'm holding it? I'm damn good at that, and I still can't make it the entire week in Moab. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm, I'm <laughs> waiting until I get not home. Physically, hopefully not physically while he's asking you. So you guys will like this. I, I got my five-gallon bucket. I got a, a lid, uh, somewhat of a toilet seat lid to go on top of it. And I, I got the bags, the, the eight-gallon bags uh, that go in there. And my wife was telling me what how I should do this. She, she has she she hasn't done it herself, but she has this in in mind. So she said, so when you when you use this, you're going to you know tie it off, leave it at the bottom of the bucket, and then put in a new uh, a new uh, bag, and then do the same thing over and over. And I said, honey, it's an eight gallon bag that should last me the whole week. Actually, I can probably take oh. it back next year. <laughs> You know, you know, Tony, they make these little packages of silica stuff. It wouldn't be a bad idea to have some of those to drop, to drop in there. That way, if you toss your bag somewhere in the bed of your truck and you don't have to worry about a hole and it leaks all over the place. Uh, Bob has uh, his, uh, recommended uh, he, he drive with all the, the poop buckets. So we'll just have to uh, label them with our names. I'll, you know, if you're, if you're shy. I mean, if you don't care, then pass it around. Oh, these little, uh, I will these be little packages. Them back to you at a high rate of speed going down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Artillery so you'll, have a, you'll have an empty. You'll have an empty bucket by the time it gets to you. Don't worry. <laughs> so I'm thinking what what needs to happen is is you, you take a backpack with you. You put the the bag double bagged at this point. Uh, take it into Walmart. Go into the bathroom and then dump it in the toilet. I'm sorry, I wasn't clear on that. <laughs> I think they actually have some spots at different at different locations where you can actually dispose of dumpster areas. works as well. So I mean, you're, not, you're not supposed oh, to in some areas. That's mean. <laughs> you're technically not oh, supposed to anywhere. You're not supposed to dispose yeah. of biologicals anywhere in a dumpster or anything like that. But they do have the special, special dumps. They have special <laughs> dumpsters in different areas that you can dispose of that. I don't even need a pail if I find a dog park, huh? Just wait until it's dark. <laughs> oh my! Find a dog park. This, this is hey, buddy, you don't mind if I sit next to you, dude. This is la- yeah. This is the last time. Dog park. This is the last time Jamie's joining us. <laughs> no, you guys are so with me. Hey, y'all don't, don't even me. know. I didn't. I, I honestly eye. didn't know that you couldn't throw. It into it. I mean, I wouldn't I didn't, just empty I, the bucket into yeah. a dumpster. I did not know what all this stuff is new to me. We usually what you do when I'm not. What you do when nobody's looking is not my problem. 
So you we need to do. What you need to do is make sure you put kitty litter on the bottom of those buckets. It yep. not only keeps the smell down, but anything that leaks out of the bag. It oh, absorbs. that's a great idea. That's what those little those little gel packs that I was talking so about. Do. This, this real is small the packs and it absorbs all the moisture. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but make sure you put a garbage bag in the five gallon bucket first. You're going to be wondering so, so what's going on out there. <laughs> Look out the so, and, and, and if it's got gravel on the bottom, and if somebody's coming at, back at you, you can hear that gravel shaking. So you can take cover before they get there. <laughs> Tony, I think your Jeep talk show just became a shit talk show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been that way for a long time here on the Zoom meeting. Um, so speaking of what you do uh, is your own business. How do you use these five-gallon buckets and keep your business to yourself? Uh, is anybody tent. Well, is, I was going to say does anybody bringing a little uh, a, a little bathroom tent? Yep. I have a, a shower that's attached to the side of the trailer so it's it's got uh, hot water and everything and then when it's not being used as the shower it's got a, there's a little s- stool that'll be sitting in there and that is the bathroom. A stool for a stool. I like that. I'm a stool for, a stool for your you stool. <laughs> well, my wife, my wife, I'm not either, Bob, but my wife, on the other hand, might I'd like a little bit of privacy when she's taking a leak. So I actually use one of those little uh, pop-up shower poop tents that when you twist it, it all folds back down. Mm-hmm. And that works great for that purpose. Yeah, I was a little concerned because not, never being there before, I wasn't sure if there was anything that you could drive into the ground to hold something stationary. I mean, it, it, nobody likes your poop tent flying off while you're doing your business. But you put the bucket on top of the strap. So this way, your five-gallon bucket with your kitty litter weights your tent down. <laughs> I just get this image this of a way too technical. mile an hour gust of wind coming through. <laughs> We used to do it at the beach on Long Island. And then you hear this squealing like a 12-year-old little girl. (laughs) (laughs) Well, if you get blown over to poop tent, it is every man for himself on that one. (laughs) (laughs) Man down. (laughs) Pay attention to where people have their wind cables. (laughs) <laughs> oh and this is where a uh, a steel winch will be uh, come out really handy because the synthetic winch w- lines will just absorb all that stuff oh jesus <laughs> <laughs> well you have to deal with this anyway don't you steve because you do the the boy scout stuff yeah but not to the point where we can't just dig a hole where we go oh really uh, that's what i was thinking i was surprised by that yeah, they do cattle. So, Tony, in the bottom of your pail, if you get on Amazon or Google and look up poo powder, <laughs> it's a uh, gel made so that if your bag does spring a leak, it's solid. It won't run all over your inside of your pail or your pickup. That's what so I, I was keep, talking about. I keep getting hefty commercials running through my head now. Hefty, hefty, hefty. I, I, thought, I thought you were making a joke about the Foo Fighters. <laughs> The being the poo fighters. Now, what's this stuff again that you said? <laughs> I'm posting it right now inside of uh, inside of Discord. <clears throat> okay, for, Wait, for the, say that again. What is it? Yeah, for, for the listeners though, poo well, fighters literally yeah. call poo powder. Poo powder. Poo powder. Poo powder. P o o powder. Poo powder. I'm on it. I'm going camping this weekend. Uh, All right. So you didn't say poo power. You're saying poo powder. <laughs> There's all kinds of different stuff. There's that. There's oh, I see it. Yeah, guys, this has really just turned into a total shit show. <laughs> so, it surely has. No the pun intended. Thing is you can buy yeah. instead of Tony, you got the eight gallon bags on a roll that look like a roll of garbage bags. I'm guessing. Yes. Okay, you want blue powder for those? There's another one called Double Duty. The puns are rampant. <laughs> this is like yes, an ultimate overlanding show now. <laughs> so what the double duty are is they actually are a Ziploc bag, a heavy duty large <laughs> Ziploc bag. You Beavis open the duty. Bag Where's the Beavis and, and Butthead your, track? <laughs> and your, uh, he said duty. <laughs> yeah. Like you have, Tony, is inside of it. You put it over the toilet, and it already has the poo powder in it. So when you're done, you just 
stuff the top down, roll it up, stuff it into the Ziploc bag, and zip yeah. it up and throw it away. Make sure you yeah. put this porch and light it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it also helpful. It's also helpful to the point that if you uh, if you just don't, if you don't replace your bag after every use, I mean, if you're at camp for a whole night, you don't replace your bag every, every use. That stuff also apparently helps to draw, you drown out the smell. Apparently, I think I need a little have different uses of these bags, Roger. I, I think you guys need replaced every time. I think you guys well, need some careful menu planning here for the after effects now. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any good chili places? Any good authentic Mexican food places there in Moab? <laughs> yes, there's, there's one good place on the main strip that I went to when I was there. Excellent. So, Andrew, I was just thinking Taco Bell and White Castle all the time. <laughs> oh, hey, please tell us about the food place instead of this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. So, these. Okay, I'm doing a little research here. These double duty bags. Too bad, Larry. Hold, Thanks, Jamie. <laughs> they hold two liter, two liters to two liter. What's a two liter portable? <laughs> That's a double yeah. flush. This is like this is like the, the 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 baby diaper that says they're good for ten pounds. No, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking. So, I'm thinking right now might be a good time to buy some uh, a case of Depends. So for, for twelve it of depends. them, forty two dollars. <laughs> Let's go break the situation. These are you not can get cheap. that gel. You can get that gel stuff if I think it was like twenty five packs for like fourteen bucks. Yeah, you just so gotta have your. You no just gotta have your own bag. Used to be six dollars at Walmart. Used to be able to buy them on sale at the end of season for like four bucks for a six pack box, and now they're like three dollars a piece on sale. So they were two boxes, it was forty dollars. I'm I'm looking here on Amazon, and I'm just insulted by this product. It's mini poo powder. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Where's Mickey's? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Yeah, okay, well, I'm, so Mickey's, I'm gonna, leave, Mickey's leaving Minnie anyways because Minnie's fucking goofy. Uh, no. Yeah, Sorry, really, man. You really, really dig for that one. <laughs> yeah, that's an old one. I Years. know. I know. He had to time travel. He had to barrel the TARDIS, <laughs> go back in time, hear the joke, off a dinosaur come, back in that one. come back into <laughs> the current and then say it. <laughs> I'm sorry, well, Jamie. I'm sorry, Jamie. Up. You were trying to ask an actual question. What, what was your question? <laughs> So okay, I'm. I don't even know. I I'm sitting here. I'm researching poop powder. Is anybody like, currently in the bathroom while they're listening to this show? Well, let's go. I'm going camping this weekend. Yes, so right like, now. I can get a delivery quick. You know why not? That's right. All right, so Bob, I found poop poo powder. Uh, Thirty packs, eco friendly. You know, I thought poop was friendly, eco friendly, and bio biodegradable. I, this is the thing that confuses me the, a lot about this 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 stuff. I mean, you you can't get anything more biodegradable than poop. <laughs> I don't well, disagree like to... with that. But when you get to somewhere out there where five hundred people are trying to camp every weekend. It gets to be an issue. So what you're saying is that ain't quicksand. That is. I want to know. I want to know who is holding the seminar for all the coyotes and anything else that's out there, letting them know about this too. So that's. Yeah, actually, I think you've just kind of outlined your first E3 course. <laughs> 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 that is actually that reason right there is why Duke is limited in where he can go in canyonlands and stuff. So Cyber I, is your friend. I just found a deal. Okay. So if you look at, I don't know, MPED door, who powder bio uh, degrade, it's powder degradable gel portable camping. Not only if you get the pack, you get the packs and the, there's bags and, a, and the, I can't even speak. I'm like having a stroke or something. <laughs> <laughs> the pop-up tent for forty-seven eighteen, all three. So I'm getting a whole new bathroom for this trip. Oh yeah, I mean there's some some really inexpensive tent, tents out there. I just like the idea of uh, being up off the ground. And it's green, so this way it's like being in the woods. E three is going to listen to this learner. recording tonight and go, "What did we sign up with?" <laughs> <laughs> 
good information and lots of fun. Oh, boy. So, Andrew, you're not coming to... That's really good information, though. Yeah, yeah. You're not coming to EJS, right, Andrew? Um, If I would have gotten the axles this weekend, I probably could have made it. But um, Bring the Ford out. To do what? Gonna bring the other the, the <laughs> out to be out there with us. I was gonna say, don't you have two jeeps? I have two jeeps and a truck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so if one jeep they running, what do you do? You drive the other one. Yeah, this yeah. is uh, this is getting to be in uh, Steve O territory, Andrew. First world problems. I I mean, <laughs> I might have to Steve Steve O y'all on this trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you didn't. You didn't act like you were going to go to start with. So. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Steve says we're number one. That's right. <laughs> I love being number one. <laughs> well, because all you guys keep talking Better about number two. Better than being number two. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> all the potty jokes. <laughs> oh, so. Kelly's got to tell us he's pissed off. <laughs> so. I saw something really funny when I was looking for some sort of uh, cover, so to speak, uh, while I'm using the five-gallon bucket. It's literally a hat that has a little uh, little cutout in uh, right below the brim, so that you can look around you, <laughs> and the and this cover drapes down over side of you. It, it it's you're wearing a hat. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah, I thought that was Maybe. so neat because you can keep an eye on everybody. There's no tipping. <laughs> Tony, did you get it? Take your ba- take your bathrobe with you while you're at it and just use that. I, I don't think right. it, I think there, there would be pictures and all there kinds of go. crap coming out of that. So no, I'm not getting that. <laughs> but it was the cheapest. Tony, don't don't forget your headlamp so that you can read your magazine while you're in your tent. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm on the phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'd be the only one getting saw reception, but hey, he's on the phone. <laughs> All right, so there's places to poop, there's places to pee. We know what we're supposed to do when we're out there uh, in uh, God's country, uh, and uh, we we know about uh, where to camp now. And uh, oh, uh, we were talking earlier today on Discord on the EGS uh, 2023 <laughs> channel. Where do you get water? There's a gas station that's right in the middle of downtown that actually has a public or a, a faucet that I believe, I don't know if it's a spring or if it's city water, but um, it's free to use. Anybody can fill up there. They're the Maverick. I think it is the Maverick. Um, matter of fact, I was inside the Maverick and asking the lady, I was going to buy some water for my wife. And she's like, I was like, you know, it's kind of bullshit that we're paying for water. And she says, there's a, there's a faucet outside if you guys want to use it. And I'm like, really? And it was good water. Yeah, I will say the Maverick is like the mini Bucky's of the West. They've got they've got good like prep food and everything. Yeah. Very cool, Matt. I don't know if you've already said uh, how many times have you been out uh, to EJS? Uh, I'm in EJS. Yeah, we've been to Moab twice though. Okay, so you went out there. Uh, how busy was it when it wasn't EJS? It's 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 not bad. I mean, the the t- I feel like the town, uh, as long as you're not in the, like, the dead of the heat of the summer, um, you know, it's it's always pretty busy, and you and you're you're working around, you know, booking your hotel rooms and stuff if you're if you're hoteling it. Um, but it, you know, the the only trails that are busy are the ones that the commercial guys go on uh, at that point. So you know, Hell's Revenge and Fins and stuff, you'll you'll get the uh, tours coming through on you. Mm-hmm. And I don't think Ken will kill me on this, but Ken said when I told him how many uh, JTS people were coming out, he said, well, uh, we may have to do a, a little meal or beer uh, or a meal and beer, like pizza and beer for uh, just the, the JTS uh, people. So that would be uh, for uh, doing something for us from uh, Tyree Lights. Well, we're, if we're looking for value, I think beer, beer for me, I think I can... Take care of that for the crew. <laughs> I just thought it was real nice uh, of him, and he may be oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> he may be he may be riding along uh, with me on uh, some of the runs. So uh, uh, everybody say, "Oh, those lights are so nice, uh, Ken." Turn your well, lights off. It's going to be able so to see in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Let it well, go, Andrew. Let it go. Any raccoons or deer or anything? If you like to lead. 
Oh, will, 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 will there be an opportunity to do some night wheeling while we're out there? If we want, yes. I wasn't sure if they was, uh, I mean, this is, it's not like a park or anything, which is the only thing I've ever gone off road in. You, you pretty much do what you want to do. Uh, I mean, there are areas that they have uh, closed, right? What was the, uh, is it lines back that uh, they closed? Yeah, too many people got hurt on it. Ruining it for the rest of us. Yeah, lines back, it was right by where fins and things and hells are. So it's, it's in that yeah, like so sand, uh, <clears throat> sand park. Yeah, so where you enter hell, uh, Hell's uh, Revenge, you, you pass lines back. You can't miss it. All righty, it's Dusty here. If y'all hear me, it's in Canada. Um, you guys are talking about places if you want to go next. Really? Um, the only thing I can think of is the uh, Sandfoss area, which is up, like you said, the Hell's Revenge, the thing, and that area, I think it's feel better, it might be up there too, but. Uh, that area is kind of a private park. I think it's a national park you got to get into, but you can go to do the Moab Rim. You can do the Poison Spider. You can do uh, any of those other ones much besides the Sand Flats. And, I, and Moab, uh, whatever I just said there, the um, Sand Flat area might be able to do it at night too. I just know there's a pay, pay to play kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, did you get your ticket bought yet, Dust? <laughs> I got the ticket yet. No, no, I haven't got nothing yet. Well, you don't know for sure if you're coming uh, or not yet, do you, Dustin? You have a, a broken Jeep, I think. Yeah, I'm trying to get things going or whatever else here, right? So uh, I don't know 100% know yet, but uh, I'm, I'm trying to make it anyway. So it'll be a lot of fun, right? It's a good time and good people to go with. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, we, we hope you hope you can make it. Uh, you're on Discord, aren't you? Yes, sir. All right. So you know about the EJS... Uh, 2023 channel there on on our Discord. Reset breaker issue was yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. I will say, Tony, Tony, that I've done several accidental night runs in Moab. Because <laughs> by the time you get back from a trail, you always know that you're a couple hours yeah. later and you think you're going to be. <laughs> well, that yeah, is that's a matter sure. of fact. That is a perfect time to have some nice bright lights uh, to uh, be able to uh, navigate your way back, especially uh, when there's, uh, I would assume it's, uh, there. there's no really, uh, it, are there any tire marks? Are there any, you know, black lines where people normally go? Is there any kind of thing that you would yeah, be able to tell? Yeah, on, on some of the trails. Yeah. I mean, you can see them behind me. That's going into, uh, I forgot what obstacle that is, but you can see the tire marks dropping mm -hmm. in. It's on a Hell's Revenge obstacle. I forget which one it is, though. Yeah. Escalator? Uh, not Escalator. It's uh, Hell's Gate. Hell's Gate, yeah. Yeah, yeah on Hell's really Revenge, there's wheel. a lot of spots where there's actually, uh, they actually, the, the Red Rock come out, comes out there and actually uh, paints yellow lines. Like if you're cresting over top of a rock and you really can't see where you're supposed to be going on the other side of that rock, they actually paint yellow lines on each side of, on each side of what would be your vehicle and it kind of it kind of directs you in the tra in the in the direction you're supposed to go as you're coming over the rock so there's no guesswork there well like i like to say every week uh, the uh, the zoom meeting goes on and sometimes it goes on all the way to midnight 11:30 uh, uh, p.m. central time so if uh, if you enjoy listening to the zoom meeting you should think about joining it you're everybody's welcome all you have to do is just uh, come in and join us uh, you know if you follow us on the social media we'll send out links to how to get into the zoom meeting and it's the same uh, it's the same link every week so uh, and, and it's real simple to find just go to jeeptalkshow.com slash contact and uh, scroll on down through there you will see a way to sign up for a newsletter which you'll get a reminder about the uh, the round table and uh, the roundtable isn't the only episode that we do. We have four episodes a week. We do uh, what I call a, a flagship episode, uh, the roundtable episode on Wednesday. Uh, that's when it's published. And then on Thursday, it's our second flagship episode. And then Friday is our interview episode. So there's a lot to listen to. It's all Jeep-related content. And uh, we think we got a pretty good little show going on here. Uh, if you do too, and you'd like to uh, help us uh, promote the show and do things to uh, uh, give us a little cash to do things like Easter Jeep Safari, uh, go over to Patreon, uh, and you can get there by going to jeeptalkshow.com slash contact, and uh, just go to our Patreon, sign up, and you can get uh, become a uh, subscriber for as little as $5. So, roundtable every Tuesday. Uh, the meeting is every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Central Time, and then we publish on Wednesday, just so that you're not confused. 
So until next week, and we hope uh, we, we hope to see you out at Easter Jeep Safari, really. Uh, and if you'd like to be part of the team, part of the group uh, that's uh, going out there, uh, go over there and join our Discord server, and absolutely go to EGS uh, uh, 2023 channel and let us know who you are, where you're going, where you're going to be, and we can do the same uh, with you. So until next week, have a great week, and uh, keep on jeeping. Broadcasting since 2010.